vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Top Vloggers. As always, I'm your host, Hi and Mighty Joe, hanging out with... Your co-host, the lovely cat. And as you can see, we have Aaron in the back. It should be another great vlog today. You can join us on all of our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Top Vloggers. Also, if you'd like to help us reach the top, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com backslash The Top Vloggers. Without your help and support, these vlogs will be almost impossible to do. There will be a link in the description below. And if you are new here, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, take it one step further, and ring that notification bell to keep you up to date on all the future adventures that we will be going on on our channel. So let's get going. Today's vlog brings us to Albright Cemetery. Let's take a stroll around and learn a little bit more about this place. Well, we are here uh, walking around uh, Albright Cemetery. Uh, there's a young on that tombstone. Uh, it is located at uh, 3910 South Alto Road right here in Kokomo, Indiana. And it is owned and operated by the Albright Cemetery Incorporated. The earliest burial dates uh, from 1827 uh, there was a fire here in 1940 that destroyed all of the cemetery records. So, what a beautiful place this is. I really like that one. The little bench. Very beautiful. This one even has something on the back of it. It's a very beautiful stone. Well, this is a beautiful one. They even got an angel statue right there in the front. 62 years together until she passed away. Sixty-two magical years together. Very beautiful. I always did like the ones with the pictures on them. I always thought those were really cool. This one up here, it's got a picture as well. A cross. Very beautiful. I love the wind chimes. I noticed that a lot, a lot of the different stones out here have wind chimes and I think that's really something. This gentleman, Brett Steins, he passed away. Steelers fan. My wife would respect that. And he passed away this year. As you can see, this is an active cemetery. Now, I would have to say this is probably the largest stone that they have here. And probably the most unique as well. I sure do like it. Well, that's a beautiful. Love the zebra. I love this stone. I got an RV on there and they say that's homeward bound and 
It says life is a journey. And uh, he passed away in 2000 and they were married in 1961 and she's born in 1939 and just buying her time till they're together again. Well, there's a beautiful stone. I love that. Two beautiful stones right next to each other. And then if you go down here, the next one is very beautiful as well. The gentleman must have enjoyed golf and bowling. And he's part of the City of First Hall of Fame. And here are the front of those four stones. Gotta love these three right here. This one has a uh, two hearts. And then this one has a deer over here. Very beautiful. Bradley Wayne Atwell. Died September 14th, 2012. Was part of the United States Marine Corps. Operation Enduring Freedom. Now this gentleman right here was killed on March 20th of 2016. Uh, the shooting that killed Kuntz and injured Sergeant Jordan Buckley. Kuntz was only 27 years old. They were serving a warrant when he was shot at a home in Rucheville, Indiana. Uh, he and other law enforcement personnel were serving arrest and search warrants at the home of the 300 block of Chandler Street after receiving information that a wanted criminal, 25-year-old Evan Dorsey, uh, was at the location. And here is the front of their beautiful stone. And uh, according to Tony Slocum of the Indiana State Police, the shootout involving Dorsey, Kuntz, and Buckley only lasted about 20 seconds. Uh, Kuntz was hit in the pelvis, and other officers pulled him out and began first aid. Buckley was hit in the buttocks and got out under his own power. Uh, Dorsey had been hiding inside a locked bedroom. He fired nine shots from a pair of handguns. Kuntz and Buckley fired a total of 16 shots. None of them hit Dorsey. Kuntz and uh, Sergeant Buckley were taken to IU uh, Health Methodist in Indianapolis where Kuntz died from his injuries and Dorsey died uh, from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. So a sad story overall. Jane Ellen Short, born October 26, 1950, died February 3, 2016, loving daughter, sister, mother, and grandmother, and she was also a dispatcher for the Kokomo Police Department. There's a beautiful stone right there, Justin Graves. Born October 23rd, 1984, died August 11th, 2001. Well, these two are right next to each other. And the one for Anthony has a little bench on it. One died 2007 and the other one died in 2008. I love how this one has like the family tree with all the names on it. That's really cool. And this is the front of the stone. Now this stone has a little bit of an extra special meaning. Uh, this is the 
gentleman right here who was my first wife's uh, OBGYN and he delivered our two oldest children. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned a lot. It was a very interesting vlog. I did learn a lot and enjoyed doing it for you guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. We will see you again tomorrow. Top Vloggers, out. <laughs>